For practice it 1.11.2 rockets exercise, we are asked to write a complete Java program in a class named 2 rockets that generates the following outputs. Looking at what we're given, we have 2 rockets, but we also have our class. This is going to be public class, and it's called 2 rockets, like this. Inside of here, we're going to have a couple methods, the first being our main method. It's going to be public, static, void main and with string args inside of it. Inside of here we are going to, well we can look at our output and we have triangles here and we have a square here and this is repeated twice. Uh, we have squares down here and triangles here. So what we can do is call a triangle method and a square method. And since these repeat, we can actually just copy this and paste it twice, like this. Inside of here, though, we have these lines, the United States lines. So what we can do, since it only happens once, is just write it in our main method. We'll have a system.out.println, like this. We can copy this so that we don't have to type it out again, paste it right here. Inside of here, we are just going to have this string, and inside of here, we are going to have this string. That looks good. Now we can start writing our methods. We'll close our main method and go into our triangle method. It's going to be public, static, and void because it's not returning anything. It is going to be called triangle, and we can now start writing in our method. So we're going to have a system.out.println and inside of here we're going to have our first line like this. We're going to have another system.out.print line and it is going to be the next line of code. Before we, well, we can just copy this and paste it in real quick. But we notice that there are backslashes in here. And for there to be one backslash in our output, there needs to be two backslashes in our code. In our next line, we have another system.out.println statement. And in here, we have our last triangle line. So we will paste that in here just like that. Again, adding our backslashes where they need to be. And that looks good for our triangle method, so we can close that up and now go into our public static void square method. In here we have the lines that look like this, 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 and this. So to write this, we can just copy this part in. And then we will write another sysout statement. And in here, we will copy this line. And then this is the same in the next line. So we can just print this out like this. Same thing for this part right here. And we can just copy and paste that in and close our square method. Both our triangle and square method look good. Our main method looks good. It's going to print out the triangle method and the square method. Then our United States text, it's going to print out actually a square method and then our triangle method. That is the code for this. And now if we submit it, first we need to add a closing brace and then submit it so that our main method is complete. And after we do that, we have passed the test and that's what our output looks like from this code. It's pretty cool. We are just working on method calling here, eliminating redundancy and seeing the power of calling methods.